goodness what a day it's nice and beautiful this morning thanks for joining and tuning in feeling like fall out here y'all and today's a good day because here's why yesterday i was able to get this down to a pretty good level it needs to go down probably a little bit more but today we're busting out this puppy we're gonna try at least a part of the lawn i'm gonna unbox it if you have followed me for a little while now you know that i got this thing for I think it was 50% off on Prime Day. I'm so excited to bust this out and give it a try today. Never have I ever dethatched a lawn before. Um, I've never needed to. I've always had a tall fescue lawn. This front lawn and a lot of my lawn here at this home is bluegrass. It looks decent on screen here, but if you zoom in, you can see how thick this is. I've dealt with some fungus issues this year. On a good day, it just is not quite the color that it needs to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to dethatch and see if we can get this puppy to... Here's a good example of what uh, the color looks like. I mean, you can see stripes. That's great. But you can just see how dingy this lawn looks. Alright, so I basically have this thing put together. If we flip it over, it's already got an, the attachment installed here. On the wheel is how you lower and raise the height that you want to uh, dethatch or how deep you want to go into the lawn. And you have a little bit of instruction here on what those settings mean and those depths. Maybe we'll try it out on a section over here that's a little bit more hidden and if it looks good we'll move toward the front of course some things to keep in mind when you're dethatching so if you have a sprinkler system like i do i definitely would recommend that you mark where those sprinklers are at because what this is doing is it's going down pulling up all of that thatch that is really close to the soil level and depending on how deep your sprinkler heads are in the ground those tines that are on this machine could very well scratch up or damage those sprinkler heads make sure one of two things that you either know where your sprinkler heads are at or two you mark them with a flag or something like that the other big thing to note and i've seen this only from other people that have done dethatching videos is that most likely this isn't going to be a one and done type thing as far as the patterns so if we look at this for example you know a lot of my stripe mowing stripes go this way that will be one direction that I will dethatch, but I'll also want to go this way back and forth to make sure that I get as much of that material up as possible. Looks so good. It's fluffing the grass up so much right here gotten some good material out of that lawn which of course the next step to this is once I make a mess I got to clean it up properly so I'm gonna attempt to do probably the front yard today biggest thing to note is when you're doing this and when you're detaching your lawn it might look better right there initially but this is going to stress the grass out so much so what you're going to want to do is after you do this, you're probably either going to overseed or do something like that to kind of fill in what it's going to take out. And then I'm going to fertilize this lawn to get it to spring back up and green up very, very quickly. All right, we got pass number one done going this direction. I'm sectioning it out, so I stopped here. There is a decent amount of cleanup to do here. I know I still need to go this direction. To save the motor on that thing, I'm going to clean this up first, and then hopefully when I go this direction, there won't be as much material that comes up. And obviously, because of what we're doing here, when you clean this up, if you choose to clean it up with a mower or whatever you do, you want to bag this up and throw it away. My choice for ease of convenience, I'm going to use my gas mower because it has the best suction and I'm going to bag that and then empty it into the garbage or uh, some type of compost pile. If you have that type of a setup, that would be great to kind of reuse that material. This process is not going to be for the faint of heart. That was two, two stripes of cleanup and the bag is pretty much full. 
It's going to be a long process. Plenty of material still left in the lawn. I wouldn't say as much as the first pass, but I mean, goodness, it's still a lot. Second pass is now cleaned up. It really thinned out a lot of these spots. And look at this spot. This is a, this has been a dry spot all year long. I mean, it just demolished it, which I'm super excited about because I'm just gonna plant a whole bunch of seed here. So as far as this machine goes, very, very happy with how it performed today. You know, I read some reviews of it feels like a toy and things like that. You know, I mean, it is mostly plastic. If you have your lawn at the correct height, and as long as you go at the pace that the machine needs to go, it's perfectly fine and it does the job well. Definitely would recommend this Greenworks. Overall, I'm super excited to continue with this and see what this looks like after a week or two and i will keep everybody updated but essentially i'm going to wrap this video up here this was me attempting dethatching for the first time with a brand new machine overall i think the experience was very good very positive i know how long this took just this little section from like here over to here two hours to do that section it's not the timing that is the issue for me it's the fact that it was three full trash bags full of material. And I just do not have an easy way to get rid of a lot of that. I'm going to have to piecemeal this throughout the season or per year just choose different sections of the lawn to, to dethatch. More on putting some seed down and patching these areas coming soon. So stay tuned. Appreciate y'all watching. Thanks as always. Peace.